finally, I have time and a voice at the same time. If you don't know about my vocal cord problem, then I don't know how, because I spoke about it a lot. So I finally get to start my money book series. Not gonna lie, I have put off because it scares me. I don't know why it does. I think it's because it's money and disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't work in money. I'm just a normal gal that I think has a good organisation of her money. Always has. It's kind of been my thing since I was probably like a weird 10 year old that would get birthday money and be like, oh, I don't want to spend it. No, no, no. I just want to look at it. <laughs> no, I just want to spend it, but I wanted to spend it wisely. Through how I've been or things I do, I managed to help friends with it and just change the way they maybe think about money or things they do. They might not do everything I do, they might tweak it to them. One of my friends who I used to always tag her in the memes, the Gemma Collins meme with the pig and it's like me buying random stuff that I don't need on payday. That used to be her. Now, she's opening savings accounts. She's a changed woman. So if it can help my friend, then it can, it can help you. I'm not like a money teacher. I'm not Martin Lewis. But I'm just going to tell you what I do. And if what I do can help you, then that's good enough. Even if just one person goes and gets themselves a money book and sorts their stuff out, feels organised, feels their stress, then the video is worth filming and messing up a million times and re-recording the same bit thousands of times. Yes. I'm going to watch this video and be like, yes, my money solution, everything's solved, blah, 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 blah. How many people clicked off at that moment? <laughs> not, it's not like that. Like, you're not going to go to the gym, do a work. Just want to show you my fluffy arm, don't I? I love this jumper. Go to the gym, come back and be like, bikini body ready. It's just not gonna happen. It's little things consistently being done. Things that I've heard when people have heard about my money book is, oh, is that not like really restricted? And oh, I like to be more spontaneous. How spontaneous can you be if like mid month, when you get paid monthly, you've got no money left? Like to me, you can't, you can't be spontaneous with that. Also starting with my money book because this is like the root of for me being good with my money or being in control of my money is the book. So if I start with explaining about the book, then after that, when I speak about money things, you know, you can refer back to this as like how it begins almost. So to begin with, I just want to tell you what actually is in my money book. It's basically a just a plain notebook and it repeats same pages obviously as it goes on and the pages in it are a savings page a page for any debt if there's anything like that monthly sort a spending log and updates i'm not going to talk about them all in this video because then i'm going to chew your ear off so today i'm going to speak about what have i put here the first sort so the initial you've just been paid sort and the spending log because I do them at the same time. So I'm going to put up on screen a mock-up version of my book. Obviously, it's not going to have my actual details. Also, if you're weekly, then I can do a video on that because I've recently helped my friend structure all her money and it's really working for her. It's kind of similar but different because obviously monthly is easy because most bills are monthly. So as soon as I get paid, the night before, I will sort everything out. You can't do this couple of days in because you might start spending it and it's just, it's not going to work, it's going to be a lot harder. I have the month that it is and how long the pay is going to last. So sometimes it's four weeks, three days. So four weeks, three days, but then how many weekends that is because the weekends is when we tend to spend more money. So I like to know if it's a four week or a five week weekend. And then I put the total pay. So then you have your total amount for the month. Then I put down all of my bills, all my budget and everything. I find that for people I've spoke to, I'm not speaking for everyone, I'm speaking for people I've generally spoke to, most people know their bills and then after that, just... <sighs> I literally have a place, like in the home, have a home for everything. I have a home for all my money in that month. Oh my god, I'm so sad. So I divide it all up into different sections. So you've got to pay, which is all my direct debits. So everything that generally doesn't change, they're all just pretty much every month the same. Then I have 
savings and I'll speak about this more in depth but I have different sections in different savings so currently I have a Christmas pile pile I always call it a pile it's not because it's loads it's just the words I use then you'd have any debts that you need to pay anything you need to pay I'd have in another section and then estimated bills so estimated bills are food petrol anything that can change month to month I'll also add birthdays in that section anything that isn't a set cost so then I'll write them down so rent gas electric and I'll write down how much they cost then I'll get the total amount and I'll minus off all the direct debits the ones that you can't get away from and see what I have then I'll write that total and then I know that that's the money I have left to do what I want with savings anything like that so that will be all there and I'll know exactly. This is where it changes every month, I'd say. I'll just play around with it depending on the month, depending on my priorities, depending on what I'm wanting to do. I don't know, for instance, say you were saving to buy a car, maybe you were going to sacrifice saving as much because it was your best friend's 21st birthday and you were going away for the weekend. I don't know. You can just play around with it. And I actually find this a bit fun, to be honest. Oh, what am I going to give myself? Oh. You know what I mean? In this video as well, I'm going to talk about the spending log. As you do the spending log and you get to know your spending, you're going to know that like, I know how much I put in my petrol budget. I generally give myself roughly the same amount for just my own self monthly, but that might change. You just know it a bit more. It does get easier if you've never, you don't have a clue how much you spend, then just go at the highest amount. So the highest end of the budget, so food, if you thought you think you were going to spend 200, put 230, I don't know, just play around with it. So I'll do all that, minus it up, check probably 5,000 times that it, it adds up and I get a zero at the end and not like minus 200. And then instantly, any bills I can pay right then and there, I pay them. Savings put away, like don't wait and see. I saw a quote on Pinterest, my favourite thing for quotes. Oh, did I not pin it? But there's one anyway that says, it's not your salary that makes you rich, it's your spending habits. No, that's not, that was not it. Oh, gutted, mate. There is another one, actually, which kind of relates. Consistency is an underappreciated form of internet intentional magic disguised as a mundane doing. Money book, money book, no? It was something like, save before you spend instead of spending to see what you can save or something like that and that's what i think like if i even again even me who's not like the biggest spender in the world even if i did it that way around i would save less or i would put away less for a holiday i want i would just do a lot less because it's easier to spend than it is to save simple so just basically make sure you pay anything you have to pay off you put savings away that you need to and you pay off any bills that you can pay straight away. And then, straight after I do that, it's my spending log. I'll put a mock up. I will have all the estimated bills, all of them up there. So, petrol for me, no, for me, for me, it's me, food, home, currently Christmas, petrol, and I would. Put me and the total that I've got, petrol total I've got, blah, blah, so and so forth. And then every time I buy something, I'd write in, not straight away. So this will follow on into the updates, but I'll do that in a different video because this video is going to be so, so long. I always take my receipt. And I know you've got online banking, and now you can look. Sometimes I do just look at my bank, so I might not always get the receipt. But I keep the receipts until I do my update. Sometimes when people don't take receipts, I'm like, oh, especially if you pay by cash. Like, if you pay everything on card, you probably don't need to take your receipts, but I don't want to take that risk. What about if I do pay cash, even though I'm not that tenant's card? But everything I spend, I'll track, and it's not as long as it sounds. It really isn't. Yeah, and then I'll just, I'll just write it in. Maybe it'll be once a week. Maybe it'll be once every two weeks. I don't know, but I'll write it in because if you budget your money... But then you just spend. How do you know whether you're on track? Hence, the tracking log. And that is basically what I do when I first get paid. I didn't do that. I just, I couldn't. I just, I just, 
I wouldn't even know where to begin. Another thing to add, if you're someone that feels like, oh, but my money literally doesn't stretch further enough, and that you can't do the savings or the whatever, it's still worth writing these things down. Sometimes I think you just don't want to write it down because it's like, oh, it's just going to be awful. But you better to write it down than just to continue. You're always better knowing when you can see it. And actually, one of my friends, you would have thought that there was like nothing to spare with how it was going. But then when she wrote it down, it was like, oh, I have more than I thought I had. Because when you're just winging it, you'd be surprised how easy it is to waste money. You might spend it at the wrong times and then the times you need you haven't got it because you've spent it at that time. Writing down just always helps. The next video is gonna be on savings. I don't know if it's just do it to savings or maybe the updates as well and then maybe uh, having like a debt page or a page to track any debt. <laughs> anything like that, credit cards, anything like that. One thing to mention is you probably could do this on an app because I've heard people say it to me before like, oh, we could just have an app for that. Well, I don't want an app for that. I've got an app for everything and I just feel like there's something in writing things down. Don't know what it is, but there's something in the... Like, do you know at school when you used to have to write things down you'd write it again and again? Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope it's helpful in some way. Some things might just be so obvious, but sometimes you just need a reminder. I don't know, I'm really nervous. I'm gonna edit this, overthink it, make my friends watch it, question it a thousand times. Which all sounds like a waste of time, don't it? Um, but I really wanna do this. Do you know when you talk to someone about something, this is where I'm like, ah. People, a lot of people say like, oh I can't do this, but then if you look at how you're spending your money, you probably could. I don't feel like I'm limited with my money and it's the best feeling ever. Please comment below if you found anything helpful, like comments really help. I said this before, I often get messages on Instagram, so obviously my Instagram is way more a thing than YouTube because I've hardly done any videos. Some of you might be here because of my story time video, which I'm really glad everyone enjoyed. And I have got other story time videos in the pipeline. I wish I could be more frequent on here, but obviously because my voice, I can't really. I just have to not speak for a while to 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 talk. I'll see you in my next video. Wait, sorry, sorry. Am I Usain? No, that's not Usain Bolt. What did Usain Bolt do? See ya. What was that? Oh, I didn't do the like subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. What is that? They talk about the bell. The bell. You ring my bell. This is how my voice can't do different, even when my voice can speak, I can't do different things. Like, you can ring my bell. <laughs> you can't ring my bell. See ya. What do I want to be ya? Should I do a nice bye? Bye.